Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. As you read in the title, we're going to be doing something fun. Okay, so Fenty, and I've only tried one Fenty thing, like their liquid foundation. It was the one in the tube, and um, but I didn't buy the foundation because I didn't want no foundation in a tube. Obviously, I've gotten over that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should pick that up sometime. Uh, I've been telling you guys for a while that when I'm in a hurry, I wear a powder foundation. Do you know which one? I think you do. I think you do. I think you know it is my Studio Fix by MAC. I have a MAC drawer that sits right there. Everything MAC is in that drawer. When I'm in a hurry, I pull it out. Powder foundations are fantastic for being in a hurry, as long as you're not a dry skin girl. But in any case, I have not put these two side by side yet. I have been wearing this, and I'll just give you a spoiler alert. I like it. I like it a whole bunch. But will it take down my MAC? That's what we're going to find out today. I wear this in 120. It has this nice octagon kind of shape to it. A mirror right here. In here is another one. It's like a five by in here, or at least a two by. It's definitely more magnified than this. The pan is this deep. And down here we have this sponge, which you can see I have touched up using it. This is the Fenty website. And oh, there's cute little Rihanna. She probably would not like me to say she's cute. <laughs> there's fierce <laughs> Rihanna. Actually, she is cute. I have this marked at 120. That's my shade. Light with neutral undertones. Uh, you can get an idea by hovering over these shades, of which there are 50. And it will show you a nice pretty lady's skin so that and the compact so that you can see up maybe visually this might or might not work for me this foundation sells for 36 dollars it also has 0.32 ounces 9.1 grams is cruelty free so it says the award-winning foundation that forever changed the game now in a long wear light as air powder to deliver light to full coverage on a non cakey soft matte finish in 50 shades. Rihanna uses the sponge applicator that's provided in it and we'll talk a little bit what that will do for you. Uh, here you'll find the ingredients and it depends on which shade you get what the ingredients are. So let's look at the MAC side now. MAC's foundation it says a one step pressed powder and foundation that gives up to 12 hour ultra matte finish while controlling shine and what not causing acne and I agree with that I've wore this foundation for a very long time it is $33 right here and has 15 grams or 0.52 ounces versus what was Fenty's again I forget I know it's less there you go, 0.32. So you're getting more product with the MAC. MAC has 53 shades versus uh, Fenty's 50 either, in my opinion. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. But look at the different ranges here. So MAC may have 53 shades, but look at Fenty's range of shades. A one-step powder and foundation that gives a smooth and even ultra matte finish with medium to full building coverage. It's also light as I'll show you in a minute. With a velvety texture that allows the skin to breathe, MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus is a long wearing, color true, non caking, non streaking, and non settling all for 12 hours. And these are the ingredients in the MAC. And then of course you got your recommended uses here. Do we have recommended uses here? Uh, that would be under how to I'm assuming. So yes, both of them advise you because it is a powder foundation to moisturize. Okay. And then go ahead and put it in. Now it, they're going to tell you if you use the included sponge, you're going to get this kind of a finish. If you use a powder puff, you'll get this, you know, I'm going to show you that right now. Actually, let's put the Fenty Beauty on the bad side. You know what the bad side is. The bad side is the side that is facing your driving window. <laughs> and the bad hand is the one that you drive with. <laughs> I think to really do this video justice, we probably should talk about 
application of the powder or the way I do it anyway. Disclaimer, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not a real makeup artist. I'm just like you, I'm just, unless you're a makeup artist. I'm just a girl who loves makeup. So anyway, there it is right there. It comes with a mirror underneath here. What? <laughs> the little sponge applicator is gone. I've not had a powder foundation that didn't come with a sponge applicator. And as you can see, MAC provides these holes in the bottom so it can, you know, not grow bacteria as much. It keeps it circulated in there. Typically when I do this, I use this. It's my La Mer. This has just been cleaned. Mostly that lives right there. <laughs> and then I just open this up, get this out and go to town on my face. And we may end up doing that. But one of the most popular things is this kind of a sponge that's included in here. Mac had one too. I don't know where it's gone. <laughs> you know, a little thin makeup kind of sponge. They feel like those ones you get from the drugstore that are triangle. So you can use that. You can use this kind of a sponge, a microfiber sponge. Those work really nice for that. This is a typical powder brush. Uh, maybe this also a powder brush. You see these two have something in common. They splay out. Typically, you know, this is something I would use for setting powder, not foundation powder. And the reason is because this isn't going to give you very much coverage at all. I mean, if I don't want some coverage, I'm probably just going to use a regular face powder, which differs from a foundation powder. And I hear you saying, so how is it different? You could use this over the top of a liquid foundation lightly, you know, it, I've done it. It looks really good. But the thing about a powder foundation that you don't really have with just your regular compact that you might take out and touch up now and then is the more you touch up, the thicker it will get. And cake face, you could end up looking pretty bad. So think about what you're doing when you're using a powder foundation over the top of liquid foundation. Do I use something like this? Yes. If I'm gonna grab a foundation brush of late, it's been this because I just absolutely adore the way it puts on makeup. It could even be a goat hair brush that is denser. This would work really nice. This is gonna give you kind of a medium coverage. If you were to use something like this duo fiber, this is the F50 by Sigma. This is gonna give you the lightest of applications. The F80 Air is also a duo fiber. This is also going to give you just a really light coverage. But if you want something that is gonna build this up, you either need to go with that sponge that they provide with it, a powder puff like my La Mer that I showed you that's really dense, or a foundation brush like Cub Kabuki style. This is the F82, which is a rounded version of the F80. Both of these are going to give you a medium for sure. You could build it up to a full coverage foundation using a Kabuki, my favorite Kabuki. I do have to say, mostly because of the size, I think, is this Refer 17. Look how that just gets in there. It lets me just work that foundation in. So I really enjoy this one. I think what I'm going to do today to demonstrate is I'm going to use both of these F80s. This is the F80 Air. This is the F82. I'll take a microfiber towel between sides so that I get it good and cleaned off and uh, I'm not getting product transferring over from one side to the other. I have moisturizer on my face, but no primer, and I'm not going to put a primer on. I think when I do foundation videos, I'm going to try to do those without primers. I'm just thinking out loud. What I'm first going to demonstrate is a stippling brush like this to show you what kind of coverage you're going to get with that. I'm just going to circle around on top of there. And as you can see, it, it's got the slightest bit in there. And I'm just going to run that right there. Just so you can see. That's going to give you the lightest application ever. I mean, just wipe that brush off and do the same thing with the Mac on the other side so that we stay even in what we're doing. Okay, so. These kinds of brushes I really love for applying bronzer and blush. Now, let's step up into the Sigma F80 Air, which is also a duo fiber, but it's more densely packed. So I'm going to get a little bit more, but it's still going to be very light. And there you go. You can see just the slightest amount on there. And again, 
Let's just come up here and I'm going to right here, get a little bit more and come over here so that you can see that it's just not going to cover. Very light application. I'm going to do the same thing with the Mac now. Okay, basically what I'm showing you is if you just want the faintest hint, lighter than light, use a duo fiber brush or something that is like a regular kind of powder brush. See, floppy, floppy. You can use any of those brushes to maybe take this over the top of a liquid foundation or just a very light veil of color. But we're going to use this baby so that I can show you what these powders do. As I said before, I have used this for about four days now. I really like it. It does have a blurring effect. But is it better than MAC? We're going to find out. So I'm just going to swirl my kabuki in there. And as you can see, this is how much powder I'm going to get. Quite a bit more, right? Yes, ma'am. And I'm going to start right here. I always start right here. I'm going to come underneath my eyes with it too. Probably I wouldn't wear a foundation like this if I was dry or in the winter a lot because I'm drier in the winter time, but <laughs> it's winter. <laughs> and I think that this foundation looks completely natural. I am anxious to see how it's going to look compared to my Mac Studio Fix. I just do circular motions with my Kabuki until I've got it worked in. I'm far away from my mirror, so I can't really see. And then you just keep building this up till you've got it the way you want it. I don't tend to make a great effort to cover up this age spot here, but I'm gonna show you really quick if I use this powder puff now, that or the sponge we'll use the sponge right here in the middle of my nose okay um, but I'm going to take this working on the edge and just pat like this so you can see that I can build that up further with a powder puff we're looking for a powder puff kind of like this it's thick, cushy, and really soft. And then just for giggles, I'm going to take it and come right there on that spot on my nose so that you can see. And right here, I did my microdermabrasion last night. So it's a little bit like a, a little hickey right there. And that's what that looks like. Keep in mind, or if you're new here, that uh, I can't see without my glasses, so I don't notice that the tip of my nose isn't exactly blended. The shades are similar, but the MAC is slightly darker. So I'm going to work this around, and let's see. Starting right here. I think I get more coverage with the Mac Studio Fix. I'm going to go ahead and come down my neck with the Mac, get this side with Fenty. Let me come up close so you can examine both sides. Fenty. Mac.
Okay, I always forget to say, I'm so sorry that I'm 58 years old. I have normal skin. So I keep forgetting that not everyone who's watching this video has been here before. <laughs> Welcome. If you haven't been, please hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. I may or may not do my hair. I'm not going anywhere. So see, I did not use my Lancome Absolute Powder. I did use my Lancome Fix It Forget It setting spray because no matter what foundation I use, I use a setting spray. I'll be back in three hours. I've been pretty good. It's only been three hours. I did notice on the footage before where I'm editing that because I move forward, I'm coming closer to the lights and it's blurring out my skin. So I'm going to try to zoom in so that you can see without the lights being affected. Forehead. Alrighty, makeup is six hours old at this point. So let's have a look at the Fenty side. And the MAC side. Freeze frame. I'll see you in three more hours. Okay, I'm back for the nine hour check in. Mac. Hopefully, I will be back in three more hours to get ready for bed. <laughs> 11 hours. I can't make it that last hour, guys. I've only had three hours of sleep today. And if I go another hour, I will be sleeping in this side. As you can see, it's starting to get a little bit oily. Uh, and then the MAC side. It looks to me like they have worn off evenly. But let's check and be sure. What we're going to do now is I'm going to take my micellar water. Just going to do the foundation. I'll take off the rest of my makeup when I wash my face. This one's clean. So this is the MAC. Now let's see about the Fenty. This is MAC and Fenty. Um, to the naked eye, kind of looks like MAC might have a little more, but if you remember, it was more full coverage than the Fenty one was. But I think Fenty did a good job holding up to what I consider to be the best powder foundation. Don't you? Tell me your thoughts below. I want to know if you've tried this foundation. What do you think of it? I think that uh, Fenty Beauty slammed it out of the park on it. I'm going to take all the rest of this off. Wash my face, oh, get in bed with my snuggy blankets. <laughs> and I want you guys to know, if you don't already know, that you're the best part of the Fritzy family. And if you're not having a blessed night, whatever it is, wherever you are, if you're not feeling blessed, then just go be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you, see ya. Bye. Or good night. And I'm out. Press it, 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 And I use the one in MW, M&M's. Hey, boys. I don't know why I just said that, because I was thinking about the M&M men, and then hey, boys came out of my mouth. Don't know. Because, see, I do this all the time. My nose itches, okay? My mom says that means I'm a liar. I don't know. Mom, am I a liar?
think something else that's going to be beneficial is if we spend a little bit of time talking about brushes. And I know I can hear you going, no, Mary, don't talk about brushes. Not again. Can we get through a video? Okay, relax. <laughs> They're not all Sigma brushes. <laughs> Sometimes I use this kind of a... Nah. Sorry if I hurt your ears. Let's just talk about how close this microphone is to my dang mouth. I'm breaking microphones in here all night. Ain't gonna stop until I see police lights. Uh -huh. I'm about a video, man. I'm about a video. You know what that is? If you're a true Rihanna fan, you do. What's your favorite Rihanna song? That one's probably mine. It's called Breaking Dishes. Okay. <laughs> it goes, I'm breaking dishes up in here all night. Ain't gonna stop until I see police lights. Uh -huh. I'm about a man. Yo. <laughs> it's not exactly how it goes. Okay, that's it. I'm turning off this phone. It is blowing up. Uh, it's on the desk and it's going. So I took out this earbud too because what's the point? I don't know. I was listening to Rihanna. And she was breaking dishes up in here all night. Ain't gonna stop till she hears police lights. Oh, she's about a man. Oh, she's about a man. A man, a man, a man. Just take this and, and go in there. It does work. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you feel that? I'm sorry. I keep popping you in the head. Little bunny foo foo hop through the forest. <laughs> Something about the field mice and popping them on the head. Catching all the field mice? I don't know. I'm going to try really hard if I do get in the bed today to stay on my back. Three hours later. <laughs> I'm breaking dishes up in here all night. I ain't stopping till I see police lights. I'm about a man. No, I'm about a man. I, I don't think she's saying no. She should say no. If she's breaking dishes, she should just say no.